Our study of this great book of Chronicles, that wonderful historical book, is continuing today with our scripture reading taken from 1 Chronicles chapter 13 and Psalm 107. Now, I've titled this devotional, Right Motive, Wrong Methods Invite God's Judgment. 1 Chronicles chapter 13, I do invite you to turn there, and we're going to begin by giving you a little bit of a background for today's study, and this is going to be taken from actually 1 Samuel chapter 4 through 7. Now, as a reminder, the ark with the mercy seat of God served as a symbol of the Lord's heavenly throne and a reminder of his promise to dwell amid his people. Well, sadly, the ark was forsaken by, for many years after it fell into the possession of the Philistines during Eli's rule as Israel's judge. Now, when the ark was returned to Israel, the people of Beth Shemesh had foolishly violated its sanctity and were slain by the Lord in 1 Samuel chapter 6. Well, fearing the Lord's judgment, the men of Kirjath Jerom retrieved the ark and they placed it in the home of a man by the name of Abinadab, where it would remain for 20 years. Well, as we come to 1 Chronicles chapter 13, we have David's proposal and purpose in bringing the ark of God to Jerusalem. Now, our first scripture reading is 1 Chronicles 13 today, which recorded the tragic events accompanying David's failed attempt to move the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem. Now, as Israel's newly crowned king, which happened in our prior chapter, it was in David's heart to honor the Lord, bring the Ark to the city so that all might worship the Lord. Well, with the support of his leaders in 1 Chronicles 13 and verse 1, David proclaimed to all the congregation of Israel his desire to bring again the ark of our God to us. Well, tragedy strikes as you read 1 Chronicles 13 and verse 7 through 10, for David violated spiritual principles and precepts. You see, David authorized the method of transporting the ark from the home of Abinadab. However, the king did not follow God's law concerning the means of bringing the ark. Instead, he followed the method and the manner of the Philistines, and they carried the ark of God in a new cart out of the house of Abinadab, and Uzzah and Ahio drave or drove the cart. Now, tragically, as the cart bearing the ark near the threshing floor of Kidon, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark, for the oxen, we read in verse 9, stumbled. Well, by reaching forth to steady the ark with his hand, Uzzah violated God's command and treated what God declared holy as though it were common. Now, though he had lived in the home of Abinadab and, and where the ark was kept for two decades, Uzzah failed to follow God's protocol for transporting the ark. Now, the law of God was clear. The ark of God was only to be carried by priests using staves, or that is, poles overlaid with gold, according to Exodus 25 and Numbers 17. And so, as we look at this tragic event we have seen not only the death of Uzzah, but also now we find in verses 11 through 14, the king's response. Now, Uzzah's death displeased and it angered David. Now, was he angry with God or with himself for failing to seek the way of the Lord? Well, soon the king's anger was displaced with fear, for we read that David was afraid of God and he asked, how shall I bring the ark of God home to me? In verse 12, well, David did not continue to convey the ark uh, to Jerusalem. Instead, we read in verse 13, he entrusted it to the house of Obed-Edom. Now, the Lord smiled upon Obed-Edom's household, and we read that the ark of God remained in his house three months, according to verse 14. Well, I have a closing thought and an application for you today, and it is, regardless of your motive, right is right, and wrong is wrong. You see, David employed a pagan method, the cart, to accomplish a righteous end, which was unacceptable to God. 
The king's desire to bring the ark to Jerusalem was right in the eyes of all the people. But it was the means, not the motive, God judged. This reminds me of a quote I often heard during my Bible college years, and it was, it is never right to do wrong in order to get a chance to do right. That is a quote of the great evangelist, Dr. Bob Jones, Sr. Well, tragedy befell Uzzah when he steadied the ark with his hand. You see, his motive was honorable. Nevertheless, transport of the ark via the cart was wrong, and it set in motion an event that cost him his life. Well, here's an application for you. The 21st century church and believers would be well served if we examine the means we employ to do God's work and ministry. I, I believe the average church today is guilty of using the world's carts, its methods, its message, and its music. You see, the result I fear will be for us as it was for Uzzah and David, the sorrow and loss. Well, I hope that this practical study of this wonderful historic book is being a blessing to you. Not only are you learning from history, but you're learning that history has some lessons for 21st century believers. Well, thank you for being a part of this devotion, and I bid you Godspeed. Bye-bye.